Sean Cor Defog. I'm defogging, dude. Whatever. As he goes for Ice Spinner, which is funny. Um, I'm going to Roost as he goes for Ice Spinner again. Oh, now I'm an Encore, and then I'm going to Roost and steal all of his Ice Spinners. This is funny. What up, everybody? I'm back here today. It's OU time. It's been a few days since we played OU. So you're looking at my team, and you're thinking, wow, the color combinations are so gorgeous on this team. And it's definitely not a stall team. We're using Defensive Halucha. CTC pass from this team. I played one game with it and I lost. But then I told him this team is shit. And he told me, you're shit. And that's about the relationship I have with this team. Hopefully today is a little bit different. So the whole point of Halucha, which will be highlighted in this battle, is that it can defog forever on Golden Go due to Mold Breaker. Because in Mold Breaker, you go through the good as gold ability, aka the most no skill cheap ability of all time, and we get those bitches off the field. Simply put, we will be getting these bitches off the field. So let me just go for a infestation turn one on spikes into surf into defog you know the vibes usually i think you're always supposed to go halucha first on tinglu that's what ctc told me uh but you know what no we're switching it up we're just gonna keep on surfing and do that big chip now we go lucha on eq and i get that defog off boy come on now as he goes into rotom yup easy money i like that a lot i like that a lot uh, we're just going to go back into Toxapex and no thing. It goes for 28.4% damage with Volts, which leads me to believe that the Rotom could have special attack EVs. Keep that in mind, folks. He could be strong. Either way, this douchebag is going to get back to full HP. I bet. I have low kicks, though. As he goes into Golden Go. Shit. All right. This thing is a... Wait, I have a Spadef Gambit, which I stole from the Miss Magius. The Miss Magius guy. <laughs> this shiesty set. <gasps> Oh my god. That is crazy. <laughs> I'm shit. <laughs> Alright, he goes for that. Uh oh. He takes my AV, which is whatever. I just go to Garg. Yo, this is a funny game. That low kick. <laughs> that low kick in the focus miss is next level. This is next level. I deserve to lose. <laughs> so it's the worst play of all time. Alright, he's gonna go for Nasty Plot or some shit. Yeah. I live this, and I get good-ass chip, but this chip is instrumental in victoriousness in this battle. I did way too much. What the fuck? I go into Garg here, but go into Pex on Hydro, but that shit does too much. Pex, we got to surf here. Goes into Ting Lu. Takes a good amount. Alucha, we're getting that defog off no matter what. Don't even trip, buddy. Don't even trip, buddy. This team, after we dodge the focus blast, we're going to the moon, G. Don't even trip. Go to Pex here. What is this? Stop. Stop going for that strong ass shit, bro. Let me go to Garg here on Rotom. Yup, get some HP back. I kind of want to Terra and recover. But I don't think turning into a fairy type is that ideal. As he Volt switches there. Okay. I was just trying to double my Gargan enough to get my HP back. I am definitely worried about Golden Go to a degree. But um, the fact that Rotom can no longer trick or Wisp or whatever it wants to do is very comforting also i have a halucha for that ass so i'm roosting up let me make that gambit take some chip folks this is yo this is a team boy this is yo this is crazy this is a crazy team okay never mind he's doing some chip i go into my spadef gambit which was made for bitch ass rotoms that want to be annoying I, this is perfectly made for you rotom like an annoying as hell we can outstall all your vote switches we can't but you know what i'm gonna figure it out this rotom's a big ass threat though it wasn't a valiant it's plus speed boost Bro, you should knock off here. Get rid of this annoying ass. Oh, you're banded? That's tough. Or not banded, you're SD? That's difficult. It's a garbage set. Goes into Rotom Wash. SD's not garbage. It is, actually. Goes for both switches. I just surf again. I get some good chip on Ting Lu here, at least. AKA 11% after I bring in Halucha and he gets leftovers back. But hey, we'll take it. Chip is chip, as I always say. He goes for that dumb shit. I'm just going to defog. Dude, Rotom is cheap. It's fine, though. I just go to my Gambit. Dude, my Gambit is taking net 10%. We will come out on top in this battle. Don't even trip. We we going to be the ones to win. We going to be the ones to win. Don't even trip. Also, you're some fraud set. Yeah, go for SD. That doesn't even matter. That doesn't even matter. I have a dozer. I have a dozer. Go for your spirit break. I forgot he could have spirit break. This is the best. This is the best team ever. Straight cooking this guy. 
Better not CC here. Wait, wait, what if he knocks off? If he knocks off and my pex lives, I'm God. Come on. Wait, this is probably CC and not knock off. Let me go pex anyways. Come on. Come on. Come on, noob. Come on. Or right, whatever. This looks this looks pretty good for us now. Anyways. Goes back into road. I'm stop bringing this bitch in. It's so annoying. <laughs> I gotta get a rest off of my gambit. This Rotom is putting in the goober work. Anyway, Pex is back, even though it's scarfed. He's putting in that work. Can't complain. We're in our lane. Damn, that did a lot. Let me sludge bomb here. Should I? Should I surf? Should I just keep surfing? Let me just keep surfing. I'm ass. Okay. <laughs> surf was such an ass play. Alright, he goes into this. Um. Go back into Pex. He keeps going for that. Let me sludge bomb here. All right, but we get some good chip there. I just stay in here and I sludge again because Rotom is now in range. Even if he goes into Gambit or Gold, it's not the end of the world. Actually, Gold is terrible. Oh, he brings in Gambit, fortunately, and not Gold. Gold is what I was uh, more afraid of. I'm going to go into my Gambit because I, I live everything. And if they want to double, it's good for me. Brings in Rotom Wash. That is some perfect shit because this guy was on my dick. I can rest now. <laughs> that guy was on my dick. He was being mad annoying. I couldn't do anything about Rotom Wash. It just wouldn't stop both switching and all that. But you will get switched upon. You you will get switched on until you lose, bro. I, I will switch. I'm a bastard. I swear. We can do this all day. Okay. You think you're bad now? I'm going to just stay here all day and be annoying. It doesn't matter. There's nothing you can do about this shit. He goes in for the Iron Head here. That shit does nothing. And by nothing, I mean that shit did a lot. But, uh, I, mean, I just roosted it off. Bring some gold and go here. More cheap shit. Oh shit, this shit's a big ass threat with that nasty plus shit. Go to this. Into my dirge. Facto jack, though. That was pretty heat, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, let's kill this big ass threat. Oh, I'm shit. I shouldn't have done that dumb shit. Oh, I'm ass. I'm so ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, we just low kick here. She brings some fuck. I'm so bad for that Terra, bro. That was the worst Terra. Actually, we're okay for that Terra. I thought it was the worst Terra of all time, but it's actually fine. You know, Rotom or Lou? Both are fine, I think. Goes into Rotom. This shit is a nuisance, but it's okay. And I will defog forever on your team. It doesn't matter. I will defog forever on your team. We. We will go all the way. We will go all the way. Your Rotom's taking a lot of moves. You've used 13 Volt Switches. You don't think I can make you use 17 more? What do you think? That I'm not a bad man? You're sorely mistaken. Goes for CC there. It does a grand total of no damage. Go for a Surf into Rotom. <laughs> Fucking stop going Rotom. Uh, it's almost dead, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we almost got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we almost got him. It's bitch ass. Okay, that shit did a lot. We're going to slack off here. It's probably going to go Lou. Too bad I can't hit gold with my Lucha. Otherwise, I would have acrobatics. Got some decent chip at some point. It goes into this. Um, I just go Pex. It's not a big deal. This Rotom comes in. Yeah. Keep going for this shit, bro. Keep going. We've almost we've almost ran you out of all your Volt Switches. We've almost taken them all. King Gambit is pressure, boy. We don't need Defiant. We taking all your Volt Switches, boy. Stop playing. Go to King Gambit. Yup. Let's wake up. Let's wake up, Brody. Brody, we have shit to do. Wake up now. Alright, he goes into Valiante. He tried it. He tried it. He tried it. You gonna CC? Goes for Spirit Break there instead. Just gonna Sludge Bomb into Gambit. That's fine. I got a King of my own. Do I? I think he's gonna go into his... Oh, he went into Ting Lu. That's fine. Maybe he wants the HP back. Okay, no, he doesn't. All right, I can Wisp here finally into Ting Lu, maybe. Hopefully he doesn't Shadow Ball. Otherwise, this is all cooked. Goes into Rotom, which is now finally dead. Thank you, Lord. That shit was the greatest threat of all time. It only took 1,000 minutes of battling and like 236,000 switches. <laughs> Holy shit, this is taking fucking forever. <laughs> All right, let me defog these rocks away. The bad thing is Ting Lu has so many goddamn hazards that it's going to probably get hazards up in the end regardless. Uh, but we'll see. 
we'll see what he wants to do. I mean, he's seen my set at this point, so my hand is exposed. But on the other side, Surf literally sweeps. So I think it's cooked for opponent. I don't know. We could run out of Surfs. That could very potentially be a way to lose. This Scarfed ass Tox Specs is not doing me no favors. Stupid Scarf is... It doesn't matter, though, because my Gambit isn't going to sweep his bitch ass at the end of the day, and there's nothing he can do about it. <laughs> my Gambit that we, we... That guy's three attack Gambit was so genius. It was so fire. We had to we had to tap in. Agency style. All right, he goes for SD as I sludge bomb there, which is great. Uh, he can't kill me with anything short of a CC crit. Uh, so I'm just going to sludge bomb again, as he'll probably go to Gambit or Golden Go. Okay, it goes to Golden Go, which is fine. Um, we just go into Dirge, which does take a decent amount, but it's completely fine, I think. We just slack off. Even if it goes into Ting Lu, it's okay. Because Rotom is going to die. This is the world's most patient game. You know, it is also the world's most boring game. However, it is the world's most patient game. So, take it as you see fit. Anyway, I'm Wisping here, which some might see as a misplay, but I'm bored as fuck of this thing being annoying. And also... Yeah, I'm bored as fuck of this thing. Goes into Rotom here. That's fine. I just go back into Pex as he Volt switches. That was a pretty good double. I thought about Torch Song again, but then I was like, I'm ass, and I didn't do it. And so that was the moral of the story. Don't be ass. Rotom does take another another turn. Letting the Rocks go up is very bad. We're probably going to pay the price now for this. Because Gambit's in. Actually, Gambit's not even a threat. I just Surf. Owned. I was going to say, this is not a threat. Um... It can't kill me with any one hit, so I'm going to surf and hope that he tries to make the double. Okay, rocks are up now, though, so this is a gigantic giga threat, I realize. Um, especially with its shadow balling. It might be time to sack the Garg, all things considered. Live this, surf him, sack Garg. Yeah, and then probably just kill it with a torch song. And then I should be fine from there. Yup, so he sacks that, and that should be that. I don't think he has any way through. A lot of you might be thinking, damn, this was Starly. No, it wasn't Starly. This was Halucha showing its worth. Stopping Ting Lu at every intersection, stopping King Gambit, stopping all of them. Should literally put on a godly clinic. Is this thing going to be annoying now with Sludge Wave? Oh shit, it's a big ass threat. Um... Keeps going for that. He can't poison me because of my cloak. Which is cool. Um I'm just gonna wisp. Okay, but yeah, I can't get poisoned because of my cloak. I need to be crit. Shots to the cloak. My boy CTC thought of everything. Now we just hex to knock this joint out. Has to go for CC to kill me. Goes for CC. That's not a big deal. I have a Halucha to wall the last two. This is Dunzo. Goes into Ting Lu here. Uh, I'm not exactly scared of Ting Lu. World wins me out. Well, that's what you call a defog incoming. This is a beautiful game. This is the game of all time. If 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 anything, this is the game of all time. Halucha came in, turn 99. This shit defogged five times. Come on, man. You've never seen this before. Not in your life. Not to the untrained eye. All this was was a switch fest. Wrong. Wrong. This was Pokemon at its core. This was like a gorgeous game, bro. This is like pure beauty. That has to crit me with CC to kill, so good luck. Doesn't crit though, so owned. Gambit and Dozo should take care of this, and I have a Lucha in the back as he tries to whirlwind me out, but it won't, it won't work. It won't work, guy. It won't work. I'm gonna defog on for you forever. Goes into his Gambit here. That shit don't matter to me. I'm gonna get a low kick guy. Try roost. Let me, low kick. Let me low kick. Turns bird type. Oh my god, I have Encore though. <gasps> Noob. All right, hold on. Do I low kick forever on SDs? Shit, probably not. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. No, I'm not leaving. I'm going to be so fucking annoying. I'm not leaving. I'm going to do this bullshit all day. We could do this all day. I think. Maybe we can't. Am I confused? Perhaps. Perhaps I'm confused. Let me uh let me think actually. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just sack dirge. Yeah, he goes for that. Um let me go for a wisp. 
Yep, as he just stays in and takes the burn, which is perfect for me. Go to my pecs. I know he's going to tail cleave here, so we're just going to switch out and make him take damage for no reason. You feel me? Good game. Yeah, that shit, it might have seemed like 112 turns of what the hell, but you know what? The real ones know that they stuck around for 15 minutes of Halucha goodness. That was what you call taking your time, your patience to get off the greatest Halucha beatdown of all time. Good job, Halucha. Good job to Covert Cloak Skelly, too, because... Covert Cloak Paul Skellerman was able to take the Sludge Waves, eight of them, and not get poisoned. Never had to worry about that, which I thought was heat. We got this guy. He's running a Lilligant team, which I applaud him for. I actually really like Lilligant. It's one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Uh, it's just something about it. Quiver Dance is an epic move. It's a lot more humble than Volk, which takes no skill to run and is very cheap. Either way, I hope we're able to get past this team. It does look quite strong at first glance leads off with garganical uh i'm just gonna stealth rock am i i'm gonna curse let me just stealth rock this shit is a threat uh in general to be honest salt cure here as he does that uh salt cure again as he solar beams shit does 53 which is some decent chip but not enough to kill me which is perfect um I think I'm just going to get up my rocks here as he goes to walking wake. Perfect. So now the the this big smoke Torkoal is like not that big of a threat. It's like a very medium threat, you know. I just surf here unless he has Dragon Pulse. And if he does have Dragon Pulse, then I'll figure it out. But I figured this fucking Tusk was going to come in. Um, I go to Halucha as he goes for that. And I just defog on this shit. Shot Encore defog. I'm defogging, dude. Whatever. As he goes for Ice Spinner, which is funny. Um, I'm going to Roost. As he goes for Ice Spinner again. And now I'm an Encore. And then I'm going to Roost and steal all of his Ice Spinners. This is funny. Do I really steal all of his Ice Spinners? Like, not really, actually, at all. <laughs> okay, let's go to Dozo. Um, he's going to go for a knockoff here. 100%. So we're just going to Wave Crash and get good-ass damage. But... We'll take that damage any day of the week. Um, he goes into Lilikant on another one. Should have strong after all. Goes for QD. Um, he might be able to wake. Uh, not wake. He might be able to. Uh... <coughs> oh, hell no. What is this? Hell no. You gonna Terrafire? Oh, no. You're shit. Never mind. As in, as in this is a shit Pokemon. Not that he's a shit player. I wouldn't say something rude like that. This is just a shit Pokemon. Typhlosion. Unless Joe is using it, this shit is ass. Let me tell you that right now. Unless Joe, a.k.a. Oh? <laughs> Bro went for that shot? That muddy cup? What the fuck is this shit? Alright, anyway, I got the freest low kick seen in low kick history, probably. He goes into Typhlosion. He takes a big kick to the face. Taking kicks right to the face. That's tough. Um, there's no good double for them. Extra Sensory is a ridiculous play. Nice one. I go to Garg here on Extra Sensory because that shit should do a grand total of no damage. Let me go for a salt cure here, get some chip as this shit comes in. This shit is not doing no damage. Goes in the Great Tusk. Understandable, sir. I just go into my Halucha, though. Let me encore this joint. Yeah, bro. Halucha's the best troll ever, dude. It's the best mon. This is, a, this is the best troll of all time. This guy just trolls all day. Just troll, troll, troll. Oh, good job, bro. Keep trolling. Keep trolling on the ladder, bro. You're doing your job. You're doing your job. Even though, somehow, low kick and knockoff do the same amount of damage, you're still doing your job. Keep that in mind. This bro really thinks that I'm going to switch it up for like one turn. I'm never switching up. I'm going to do the same bullshit every single turn. And my Halucha is ending at a high amount of HP. Stop playing with Halucha. This guy puts in the work for a reason. This guy's so bad. Halucha. Do a little more, brother. Finally, we get a crit. Get out of this bitch. Pretty well. He goes into Roaring Moon on low kick. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> that shit is crazy. What are you doing? I'm going to this guy on that. Easy money. This shit is so over, dude. Um, yeah, I don't really see any path for him. Let's better kill. Yo, it did nine. Yo, I'm dicks. <laughs> Yo, that's got to be the most embarrassing turn of my life in Pokemon history. That turn right there. That turn right there. <laughs> That shit ruined me. Stop going for extra sensory, dude. Fuck. This is annoying now. 
All of a sudden, I've misplayed. Please. Please sack everything. Fucking yes, he sacked Big Torkoal. I, like, misplayed somehow. That Katow Cleave, I thought it would kill, but it didn't. Didn't kill. Fucked up. Anyway, he goes into his Manny, aka knockoff Ice Spinner Body Press. Anyway, this shit sucks, and it can't kill me unless it crits me. And if it crits me, then, dude, you're cheap. Looks over, though, for Brody. Looks like Don Dozo is about to do what it does and doze all over the place. Pull up Wave Crash and kill him right here. Oh, he's mad. <laughs> I actually knew by the forfeit that that's exactly what happened. Well played, well played. So another one bites the dust, thanks to Halucha. Yo, this thing is doing an all-star performance. Okay, so we got this guy, Cerberus Sama. So I guess this is Sama. It's not actually Sama, but... I have to beat him because there's only one real Sama and this agency Sama. I don't know what Cerberus Sama is. This is some scary version. I'll make sure to take care of this threat though. So we see a Garg, which already shows us that he means serious, serious business. Um, thinking, I don't know. Thinking lead wise, I want something good in the Garg. Well, when in doubt, there's only one guy to ever lead. It's this guy. Time to infestation him. Fuck. Took my shit, whatever. I'll infest, we'll stay here all day, bitch. Shit don't matter to me. It don't matter to me. That was a bitch, though. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't want that to happen to me. Fuck. I got a halucha. It goes for that. Encore. Defog these away real quick. You're not doing shit to me. You're not doing shit to me, buddy. I'm gonna go to my dirge here. Do I wanna go dirge? I'm gonna go pex right here. Go for wisp. Goes for his own tusk. That's fine. I got a halucha specifically for clowns like you. I'm gonna encore your bitch ass too. Everybody can get it. These rocks must go up. If you block here, I'll be mad as shit. Goes in the tusk. I just suck here. He knocks off. That's annoying. What's gonna go into? Azu banded? CC is there. I should did a lot. I should that allow, I'm not gonna lie. Um, let me low kick here. Wow, great damage. Great damage. <laughs> 37 is criminal damage, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, cool. He does this, which is a misplay. Goes into his clawed here. I can't really beat this fat ass. Alright, why did I do that shit? <laughs> I just realized I'm walled. Encore his bitch ass. Spam low kick. So he goes into Garganical. Cool. I can just look again. Going Garg is not the play. I'm gonna spam. I'm gonna take all your shits. All your shits are just coming with me. Oh, he goes for a recover there. But I encore you. And I get back to full HP now. Boy, it was good. He's double ghosted up. He's double ghosted up. Which is... <laughs> Damn, man. Have some respect. Goes back into Garg here. Fuck, I'm scarfed. Which is so bad. He's a giga threat, actually. Wait, I have Cobra Cloak. What am I talking about? This shit is no threat. This shit is pussy. This shit is pussy. Get back to full. That shit is pussy. Alright, burn that claw for real now. Um, figured he'd go for Toxic. Uh, we just recover here. It goes for that. We just throw a suck here. Start doing some chip on everybody and anybody that wants to fuck with us. I'm not worried about this. Put these bitches back up. Yeah, he goes Garg. I mean, that's fine, though. I just saw Cure you back. Matter of fact, I saw again right here. Oh, I'm bad. Whatever. No, his Garg's low, though. I need to keep his Garg low. He's being annoying with that shit. Let me saw Cure right here. Hopefully catch the Tusk or the Water Joint on the Switch. Either one is completely fine with me. Could go into Val. Val might get cooked, though. Chris me with that salt here. Um, I'm low. He has leftovers, so he's a little bit outpacing. But not really. Goes in a clawed here. Takes a lot from that, honestly. I recover as Gar comes back in to annoy with salt here. Goes for a sub, which is very funny, I guess. And by funny, I mean, what the fuck is wrong with you? Self-protect salt is so insane. 
you got to be a, a heinous individual for this shit. I defog the rocks away because I realize this thing is putting on a clinic versus my team. And I don't want this bullshit going on any longer. Um, I go into this as Zoom roll comes in. Okay. Understandable, sir. Um, going to Pex on Jet. Mm, that's not understandable, sir. I'm not really sure. Okay. Going to this guy, second torch song, as he goes for a fucking toxic. Whatever. I need to kill that thing. It was being really annoying and making me sad. It was really making me so sad. I go into Halucha here on knockoff. Dude, you're not getting any free damage on anybody. I'm telling you right now. There's no such thing as free damage in this world. All damage comes at a cost. Everything comes at a price. Alright, remember that. Everything comes at a price, just like this fucking Garganical. Watch me low kick here. Yeah, predict your bitch. Alright, I just Encore this Protect, and then... I go into King Gambit. Jing Gambit, and I have con Close Combat. Katao Cleave is actually the name of the move. Um, This thing is actually such a bitch. This thing is such a bitch. <laughs> Holy shit, he's getting all my encores too. Okay, that's fine. Fuck. This thing is a bitch. I think I'll win this. Yeah, because even if you salt for life... Yeah. I realized there that I'm stupid for thinking that this can even end in a different way. Goes to Garg here. I just keep spamming Surf. Like, I just gotta be adamant. Adamant natured. About this shit. Go Garg here on another curse. Doesn't even go for it. Cool. Uh, did I go Halucha on Roost once? For the one time? Yeah, I got mad Roosts on this guy. I'm not too worried about this. Going to the guy again. We can stall all day. I love to stall. Stall, stall, stall. That's all we do. Stall in. Fall in. Black on member Rose. GG. Ownage. Next game. So, we continue our onslaught with the Halucha. We just protect, stall, cheese over and over again. They have threats, though. They always be having threats. We just outplay bigly. That's what I think. Alright, let's see. Lead off a of Pex, where I lead off in every single game because it's like the best lead basically every game. Opponent probably. Has Rocks Tusk, but I don't know. Because when you have Dozo plus Tusk, it's always a little bit confusing to me. Goes in a Golden Go. It's lefties. Uh, which means it could be some troll shit. I'm just going to surf and get my chip that I deserve as he goes for T Wave, which is pussy. But whatever. I go for a surf. I just killed him actually. He's Nasty Plot, T Wave, Shadow Ball. When I saw Nasty Plot and T Wave, I was like, what is this? Mono attacking will recover? Surely that's not a set because what is your mono attack going to be? Make it rain or Shadow Ball. And then none of, that's not possible. I can go into Halucha here. That's not even a reason to worry because, as we all know, Halucha makes Great Tusk a clown. Shit did a lot though. Let me roost right here. I don't need all that chip for no reason. You better not bulk up. Ice Spinner. What the fuck? Strong bitch. Goes for spin again. I know you were gonna spin again. I just did that so I can get some chip on you, boy. Feel me? Don't be, don't eject out. Good. How can that only do 47 post defense drop? That's stupid, right? That's stupid as shit. I'm going to Lucha on CC. Reason I wanted the Lucha is because I don't need Lucha at 80 versus having it at 43. I don't think that's gonna make a difference, but I do think that keeping my Don Dozo healthy. It's going to be the difference between Azumarill sweeping me and not sweeping me. In comes this shit, aka another cheap mon. Do I go Garg? No, fuck that. Do we go Dirge? Definitely go Dirge. His only way to beat Dirge is to be terrible as ground. And if he's terrible as ground, then we'll have to deal with that accordingly. Um, I just slack here as Dozo comes in. Okay. I got a Pex. Not too worried. Goes for Curse. Okay, um, sludge bomb here. He goes for liquidation, defense drops me. I'm going to my own, back into pecs. Not too worried. Yeah. 
Sludge Bomb does a lot. Anyways, just trap this joint. I think he's slower than me now too, so he's completely fucked after our acid spray here. Assuming no paralysis, of course. Um, but it looks completely cooked for him. Yeah, it's sleep talk as well. Not earthquake or anything like that, so should be cooked. Sludge Bomb does like 50 here. Oh, you're a lucky, you're a lucky guy. You're a lucky guy. Okay, well I can't risk this, so we gotta leave. Back in a pack. This is fucking annoying, actually. Lucky ass shit. Yo, what's going on here? What's lucky as Dozo, or what is this? Okay, he's throwing out all his liquidates like a chump. I mean, there's probably a better way for me to go about doing this, but whatever. He, goes, he keeps going for liquidations. He, like, wants to lose them all, it looks like. Never mind, he has 2,000% hacks rate with liquidations. You're supposed to just curse, bro. More. To break through. Finally, the understanding is here. It doesn't matter, though. He already gave away all liquidations for free. Dude, what is this mono crit liquidation? This is funny. Alright, they're all gone now. It's over. Just wave crash myself here. Into, uh, whoever. Just get plus 2,000, I guess. Matter of fact, we need Haluch. We need Pex back at full. Uh, and then what else do we need? We need Garganical's rocks up too. Actually, we just saw a cure here. What's going on here? Is he mad? Is he Has he left the battle mentally? I don't understand. I don't understand. What are you doing? Why are you subjecting yourself to this hell? Why? Why is this happening, brother? You don't deserve this. Maybe you do, actually. Maybe I, maybe I just stealth rock for life, actually. Fine. Is this, is this what Halucha's made of? The Halucha stall alive. Yup, we're back at it again with the Lucha stall. Whatever, I just rocks all day, bitch. I'm boring as hell, too. Finally. Now what? You energy ball? And Okos? Damn. Turns into a grass type. Wow. So literally what I said happened. That was pretty shiced. So he was like Specs Energy Ball or some bullshit. That's not actually real, but it happened anyway. Uh, that was actually pretty crazy, I'm not gonna lie. I just torched on here as Azumarill comes in. It's a threat, but it's okay. As long as you have an Azumarill, you can never really lose. Even if your opponent has 2,000% liquidation drop rate. As long as you have Tox Specs and Don Dozo and similar cheap bullshit, like it's a little difficult to lose most games. You know what I'm saying? Just be a little decent, you know? Goes for belly drum there, which is strange. Uh, strange behavior. Iron Moth's gonna come in here. I'm probably just gonna end up sacking my uh, pecs. Goes for sludge wave, that's specs. So I go into gambit here. I low kick into your gambit like a bo 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 boss. How much does this do? Hope it KOs. Damn, didn't even KO. But we're faster because he's min speed. Gambit should live all moves, so we're just gonna Terra and Katow, see how much fire does. I should eject shit. Keep going, Lucha, keep going, keep going. We need a, we need a more satisfying game. Not that these are unsatisfying, it's just that they're slow. Now we got a guy with his own stall, this shit looks like it's gonna be a loss for us. Let's find out what happens, folks. Let's find out. It's a nasty build, though. It's a nasty build. Okay, um... Fucking Bicycle's a bitch for my team. Bicycle's a real bitch for this team. But I can maybe infestation and just fucking hacks everything. I kinda don't want to get knocked off with my, what's it called, immediately. Alright, we both infestation turn one, but I have acid spray, so I think I win. Um, okay. Pretty sure I win, though, because I have acid spray. We'll see, though. We'll see. It's going to be close. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I'm trapped, actually. More than he is. I didn't realize he's a defensive pex. This is going to come down to who can outstall the majority of uh, infestations early on. Guard comes in for free here. Just rocks. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Salt into whoever I want. 
He, I mean, Cyclozar is a bitch. Don't get it twisted. That thing is going to be really frustrating to deal with for the entirety of the game. Yeah, see, because it gets these free knockoffs and spins for life. Goes for U-turn there, though, which is interesting. First off, he wants to go for the U-turn and get the uh, some type of initiative. Okay. Uh, Pex is back in here, though. I mean, I'm just going to always go Garg, really, because, I mean, yeah. I'm not too afraid of anything. Goes into Chiz. Chiz is going to knock me off, which is why I went to this. I didn't want to get knocked off. I mean, if my fucking this guy gets knocked off, that's not a big deal. It's way more scary if Chiz gets knocked off. I mean, this thing is a little bit annoying. I'm not going to lie. This Pex is a little annoying. You know, goes into his own guard here. Gets cured. Probably it brings in this. Spin? Hopefully I can kill this with Sludge Bomb Poison. He tries to go for a spin, hopefully. If he knocks off, that's cool too. U-turns out, probably into Pex. Just playing it safe. Goes into Corv, actually. Um, I just put him back up, though. Yeah, unless this is body press. That would be a little bit like, dude, are you really pressing me in the club right now? But we should be able to just... Oh, bulk up. I, I cure that guy right there, though. Of his bulk up problems, he wants to act big. He wants to look. He wants to look tough. We'll take him out. Of, we'll take him out. Curse right here. I mean, it looks like they know that they can PP stall Garg. It's pretty uh, obvious that this is how it works with Garg. Um, okay, Covert Cloak is not going to come into play for anything besides his salt. But. My dirge is gonna have trouble beating Pex. Okay, he just keeps U-turning, which is fine. Which is fine, which is fine. This is gonna be a long game, probably. This is probably gonna be a really long game. Mm -mm -mm. Goes into Dozo instead, which is weird. Going to my Pex here as he curses up. Just trap that boy. Goes for a switch to Corv. I don't think that's good for him. Because I bring in my guy here. And I just go for Torch Song. As Pex comes in instead of Garg. Which doesn't even make sense to me. I don't know why he did that. I don't know why you do that over Garg. Maybe he doesn't think I Wisp. I'll be back though to Wisp later. Not a big deal. Let me salt here. Okay, goes for recover there. Unnecessary play. Even if he switches here, I can curse. It's like whatever. Goes in a bike. Figured. Knocks off my shit there. Cool. I just low kick here. We'll see what he wants to go into as an immediate reaction. U-turns because nose are faster. Let's see. Sometimes people, they don't respect uh, Halucha. Which is fair because it's kind of whack. But sometimes they don't respect it. And it can be better than they give it credit for. I think I want to go Gambit here on the infestation. Yeah. Because I can SD and troll if, like, necessary, you know? This doesn't beat me. Maybe he thinks with infestation he beats me with recover and infestation. And then I pull out the rest at the very end. And they're like, fuck, this troll was crazy, you know? That's a, that's a very possible situation in my eyes. Goes for a curse there. I'm just gonna bait out an attack real quick. Yeah. I'm gonna go dirge here. Yep. Money. Let me wisp. Please don't go garg. Yes! Okay, so we were able to hit Pex here with that annoying shit. Infestations. We've used about a fourth of them on their side. Um goes into Wo Chen. The tablets. The tablets are here. Goes for Giga Drain. And I've already showed low kick, so. Like scary, I guess. Problem is, Wo Chen is like a, a fucking gigantic threat for my team. Like I'm not able to accurately defeat this. Trying to encore doesn't even do anything for me. Especially with this bitch, po Toxapex being so annoying. Keeps going into this. I'm on Iron Head here. Yeah, because I don't want him to know that. Oh, he has knockoff. I got outplayed. Fuck, I didn't think it had knockoff. I got to play for real. 
This shit is gonna fucking kill everything. I gotta think about this intelligently. I don't need the AV on this, so that's whatever. Let me surf here. Let me go dirge here. Oh, he really leech seated. Fuck out of here. Doesn't make sense. Let's see. Let me infest. Let's see what the options are. The opponent wants to just stay. Goes Corv. Understandable. Goes for that. Okay, we can take some roosts here though. Which isn't a bad. You gotta take you gotta take your uh damage whichever way you can. And we're taking it this way. Which is fine. Take four, which is pretty decent. I'm not disappointed with that at all. I don't know if Acid Spray plus all this shit is enough to kill this. I feel like it's not though. Yeah. I feel like it wasn't enough. And we had to do what we're doing right here. Cause look, we have taken important recovers. Don't don't trip. We've yeah, see, and this guy always does this. This uh baneful play. Cause bike is free, which I understand, but fuck your bike. Goes for U-turn here as I suck here again. And I'm leftovers up. So I suck here again because I was like, kill that shit. He sacks his corv because I crit it. It probably mattered, but also his corv had four roosts, and I'm in. So I think that was a misplay by him. Anyway, corv dies, which is great. We bring this guy in. Now we actually just trap literally fucking everybody, and it's over. I think he's going to rage stay and sack this. We'll see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Rage stay. Let's see. Alucha be taking on these stall teams, bro. He be, be patiently, uh... Be patiently waiting in the back. Goes into this. Just sludge bomb. If you want to U-turn, it's fine. Probably into Pex. Alright, that's better played than me. I think I have station here. Is he have stations too? I think I win 1v1. Unless I don't. But I think I do. Because he doesn't have attacks. So I think I win. Hmm. Maybe not the best play. Series of plays by me. Actually, getting this so weakened. This is actually a stupid ass play. Good thing is though. It's set. Probably won't kill me. So. We're good. But that was, that was some risky business I just put myself through for no real gain. You gotta be careful with that. Uh, let me bring Gambito here on Infestation. This is completely fine. I'm not worried about this shit. Let me just Katow cleave into this nuisance. Goes into Woe Chizzy. Okay. So whatever. Get some damage on this guy. Rocks aren't up against me, so that's great. Going to this on Leech. Protect probably coming. So, go Lucha. Roost totally for free here. I don't quite this low protect. Actually, no, we just go back into Pex. Because he's going to go into his own Pex. Yeah. Yeah, we don't need to... We don't need to do anything try hard at this point. Like, the game's already pretty solidly won. Unless he can predict every single infestation correctly. And, you know, get out of that. But he can't, so... It's probably cooked. Also, infestation. He's used a lot of them. But I will get out of this bitch. Alive and unscathed, no matter how many it takes. Annoying ass pecs, bro. Shit been in here infestating all day. Curse again. Okay, cool. So here here into anybody and everybody. Three recovers left on this joint. You will be losing. You will be losing, buddy. You can go book the cycles are here, but you take at least 40. So finally, we're able to do that. Um Does he want to knock? Probably. I want to kill this? Probably. Oh, you turned. I'm shit. I should have sucked it again. Fuck. I should have sucked it again. Next time I will. Can I infestation again? I literally can infestation every time versus this trash. And we can go to the yards. Because when I'm at full, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Nice. Let me see how much sludge bomb does. Pretty sure I just killed him with sludge bomb. Pretty sure you just gooberly messed up. This is the next level. This is the next level. Not all y'all can go 99 turns. Forfeit incoming. 3, 2, 1. Boom. Let's see. Should be though. 
All right, I, I, I respect fighting till the death. And you literally died, so. Let's see here. Let me switch. Obviously, I can't stay here on, uh. Okay, turns water. I encore him, though. Then I go into my own salt. Back into my packs, bro. We're not even going to play this crazy. We're just going to chill. We're just going to chill and collect the W that we so great graciously deserve after the plays that we've made in this battle. We've been here all day. We've been in this bitch all day. We've been in this bitch all day. Let me tell you that right now. We have been in this bitch all day working our asses off. Yeah, now you're going to meet Cobra Cloak Skeleton and go, Dude, I had no chance anyway. Yeah, bitch, no chance. All right, let me slack here. Get all the HP back. Throw on again. We can get plus 12. Yep. Slag off right here. You know, Dirge was looking pretty good this game. Nice. Not that that mattered, but... Yep. Well played, Dirge boys. Not bad. Another stall packaging. These are some long-ass games. I can't lie. Like, these are obnoxiously long games. But, I appreciate y'all sticking with me. Because we do it. For the Lejeancy. The hell is he doing? You're not, you're not walling plus six, boy. You can't wall plus six. I got too many attacks. I literally got too many. This does 40 some. That was a crit. <laughs> Shit does 35. Shit is ass. Alright. Fight until the end is pretty valiant. I'm not gonna lie. Unfortunately, I'm 1024 special attack. Cool. Let me, s Let me just torch again. It doesn't really matter even if I fucking don't attack. Iron defense is crazy though. Goes for protect. It just hex. Should I just spam torso on the non-protect turns? Torso seems to be doing a little bit more, just barely for some reason. Yo, stop being cheap with this protect spam bullshit. Alright, forfeit. Thank you. So it only took one year, but we get out of this situation rather unscathed. In comes Wo Chen. Wo is probably faster, but he's not gonna kill me. Skeletish, Skeletish. A lot of you might think that's a good one to end it on. You keep getting 113 turn games, Cap. That's all I gotta say, Cap. We gotta keep going. All right, this is a nasty team. Not that my team is not nasty, cause my shit is nasty. I'm not gonna hold you. But this team right here, the Mons that are fast, there's so many of them. Did you notice? There's just so many fast mons. You gotta be careful of people who run too many fast mons because they're usually hiding something. You know what I mean? Maybe you don't know what I mean, but I know what I mean. And sometimes people, they just have these teams and the speed level is too high. Why do you need all that meow, moth, and pulse? I guess it depends because the Volk, if the Volk is not, uh, not the Volk, if the moth is not booster, then it's not that outrageous. But if it is, then yo, you're out of control, buddy. This guy is crazy. Lead off with King Gambit. Leads off with Pult. Okay. Just fucking Iron Head turn one. Do I? You just Katow. It's whatever. If he wants to Wisp, I have a rest. If he wants to go Great Tusk, then I know he has an annoying ass Great Tusk. Oh, look. He has an annoying ass Great Tusk. I did 8% there. I should have let off with Pex as I've done in every single battle so far. I don't know why I decided not to on this turn, but. For some reason, my mind went upside down, and I didn't. Okay, so he goes for this. Um, just gonna low kick as he brings in Corv. A low kick again. Unless he has Brave Bird, I'm not worried. Yeah, as he's now at 47% because of that U-turn shenanigan. Look at how Lucha, bro. So inspirational, bro. It's gorgeous, bro. Anyways, in comes Moth. Goes for Psychic. Is Specs out the ass? Something to consider. It's a gigantic goober threat, actually. Judging by that damage. 56.8 is not healthy. That's like too strong. Shit's like modest Specs. So this, is a, this is one strong ass Iron Moth. Okay. So it's Specs, which is whatever. We'll figure it out. Um, Makes a good double there. We got the Corv low, which means the Corv will roost one turn, aka we get up rocks that turn. Actually, we don't get a Brox and he has a hat. This will be an interesting matchup. I'm glad I got another game because I wanted to uh, see what we could cook. 
Um, I mean, Curse Garg destroys this fucking team. Pex is also really solid versus this. I just sludge bombs. Eat brave birds, which is completely fine. Go Garg. Sludge bomb was actually stupid, but I thought he would U-turn, not wanting to take a hit. All right, cool. You turn probably into Tusk, if anything. Um, I don't think you go hat directly. Actually, does go directly hat. That's crazy. I would have done that shit. Um, go Pex here as he calm minds. Okay. Got a Gambit here though, so not too worried. Corv comes in. I'm not too afraid of Corv and it's U turning. I just iron head into Tusk every time. Do a good 16% and we go from there. 25 with a crit. We call that damage, ladies and gentlemen. We call that residuals. We call that good chip. This shit is going to take forever. Oh, God. This is going to take forever. I mean, my Torch Song guy is like kind of crazy racism, though. So we just low kick here on U turn. He goes for that, actually. The red is Roost. I just Roost. I'd kill you with me. Don't even matter to me. Yeah. He doesn't know I have Encore, so I just go for that. Yep. go Garg here. It goes Pult. That's fine with me. Use that as an opportunity to get on my rocks. If he's draco Then that's fine, I think. Oh, he's banded darts. That's... That's pussy. Um... Let's see. Let's go for Salt Cure here. And then Terra Fairy, probably, and Recover. I just want to chip on this. This should look like a big threat, but maybe Terra Water was better on my guy. I don't, I don't want Terra Water, though. I don't want to be weak to fucking Moth. Let me just Terra Fairy and recover here. This is completely fine. Because I don't know what Corviknight does to me besides Defog into Salt Cure spam, 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 you know? Because I Salt Cure again into Hat. It's not a big issue. I Salt Cure into Great Tusk, wall it. I wall the fuck out of Dragapult. I wall everybody in this bitch now, actually. I actually wall everybody in this bitch now. I just realized. Let me suck here again. This is a giant threat. I want to keep this shit low. Facts. Goes back in a hat. Cool. I just recover here. I'm not worried about no hat. This shit is useless versus me. His best counter is to go into his meow and or his specs bulk. Alright. Looks like it's not working. Let me go. Let me suck here again. Like I said, not too worried about whatever this thing wants to do. It goes for Calm Mind, but again, this is definitely doable. I'm not totally worried about this. It goes for Psychic there. A little strong. A little strong, I'm not gonna lie. Good play. Let me go Skeletor Dirge on Draining Kiss. Yeah, cool. So now that Dirge is in, at least I can just go for a free Torch Song. I mean, the whole team of his is weak to Shadow Ball, so I would assume that he wouldn't go to fucking Valk. Uh, he goes into Moth here. I just slack here. If it's Terra Blast Ground, then... It's Terra Blast Ground. That's just something we got to accept. But it's not, then we're good. It goes for Psychic, so we're completely fine in that regard. Um, let me Hex. Let me get off a bit. Actually, let me Torch Song. Hex isn't going to do anything anyway. Torch Song doesn't actually do anything either, but he can't drop me. I already know that because of the goat that is Covert G Gloak. Okay, I slack off again. We got Moth at 61, which will come into play, I'm sure, dying to some Surf or some other abnormality. I'm sure it will come into play. I don't know how, but it will. Goes into his Pult, which is obviously banded fucking Dragon Terra bullshit. You know the drill. Uh, he probably just U-turns, but I don't need to risk this immediately anyways. So let's let's get out of here right now. These patient-ass games. Goes into Garg because he does just Terra Blast. He actually just goes for it. I guess he's like, fuck, there's some threats, but Garg being terra means that I completely shut down his own Terra, and that's perfect for me. That's why I stated on the darts, because either I get Chip, and we see what he wants to do, and then we can always just turn Fairy afterwards and get back to full HP. I don't use Fairy Garg too much, but this is a good idea from CTC, because otherwise, yeah, we are a little weak to Draco, Dragon Darts, all that stuff is actually really frustrating. Um... I got a Lucha here to take knockoff. I'm not actually worried about fucking Miascarada, which is funny. Shit is not a threat at all. Brings this shit back in. Best play you can go for is an Encore, bro. Um, or a U-turn. Not Encore, fucking Double Edge or a U-turn. 
goes into Moth instead. I like that play. That was a good play. But I, I still have a, a Dirge. Actually, I have a Gambit. Gambit is the most shice play I can make. Look at Sludge Wave. Gambit is so shice. Watch this. This is going to be a Goat play. I'm so fucking garbage. Okay, that was the worst play ever. Uh, let's see. That was the worst play ever. They'll talk about that play and the ramifications of it for years to come. That was really bad. It was in the core, which lifts Surf too easily. Yo, that was so bad. That was so bad. I think I could lose now. I just want it to be different, I think. And then I lost as a result. So, don't don't try that at home, bros. That was not that was not even the real me. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I thought I could do that. I thought I was LeBron James. He's not even... He's like pressure. He's not pressure. He's some other bullshit. He's almost out of roost, which is cool. Right, I'm just going to suck here again into hat and or tusk. He wants to try and outstall all my shits. That's completely fine, but I don't think he's going to be able to do it in peace. Like, here's where I would go hat, personally, if I'm him. Yeah. And again, it's never going to work. Because I don't allow it to. Um... I almost want to go for rocks here, but that's kind of crazy. Yeah, good thing I didn't go for rocks there. That shit would have been too crazy. Okay, cool. We can just go for a torch song here. His play is probably going to be to go into his tusk. That's what I think he's going to do at least. I think he's going to go to his tusk. Goes into Meow, actually, which is great. Uh, you know, I finally am able to uh, even the score. I didn't like being down 5-6. Being down in, in sacks always scares me a lot. Because it's like, oh shit, when am I going to... You know, when am I going to get that balance point? Because now they have an extra sack on me. Me sacking my shit to overheat was the worst play ever. But whatever, it's fine. I should have just gone into Skeletor. Overheat would have done like 37, but that's not real damage. U-turn does 11, so that's some damage for him. Let me go into my uh, Dirge. No, let me go into my Pex. I don't need Pex. See Psychics. Okay, fine. Go to Dirge now. Slack that shit off. This bitch is so strong. This shit's actually a gigantic threat. That's why I needed my psychic immunity. And I couldn't go hard into it. But I did it anyway because I'm dog shit. Alright, let's see. Um, Let me get back to full. He goes into pot again. It's whatever. Shit's a giant threat. Goes back into his moth. Fine, bitch. All he has is overheat, I'm pretty sure. All he has is overheat, I'm pretty sure. I think he's gonna overheat here. Oh, he sludge waved. Perfect, 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 perfect turn for me. Alright. I can just surf here. So he goes into core. It doesn't kill, which is crazy. Your ass, dude. Let's go, Garg. When you turn, it's fine. He does have sludge wave, though, which is something to keep in mind. That moth is a giant ass threat. I'm going to suck here, here. Actually, he's going to overheat every time, I think. He's going to overheat every time. Or Psychic. Fuck it. You're not Sludge Waving, boy. That's the point I'm trying to make. Ownage. Get cooked. I was like, this is getting too difficult, too scary, too out of line. I'm just going to let him know that I run the streets. I call it. I can't believe I didn't think he had Sludge Wave. But he overheated that turn, so. But I had to let him know that I call the streets. I read the streets. I am the streets. I am them. I did this. All right, it goes in great tusk here. Uh, at this point, I mean, even if he knocks me off, I think the game's done. Oh, I understand you, great tusk. I definitely understand you. I'll be doing that shit when I feel embarrassed too. Um, I just curse, bro. Fuck out of here. That's not gonna work. It's over now. I mean, Salt was a big threat, but he also had the, the Specs Moth. But I went Terra Fairy. This is an interesting game. Maybe I made it more difficult for myself than necessary, but I'm not completely sure that's true. Not bad, Garg. You did your thing. That's Salt. Is this Blender? Yes. Let's see here. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Every game in this live has been so ridiculously long. 
This was a brazy one. Halucha, the extremely long super vid. Enjoy. Have a good one. Leave a big like for Halucha Madness. Peace.